Do you want to go first? And... Um, yeah, sure. Which, yeah. Can we get any question? Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> that's a good one. Um, let's get oh. stuck into these questions. Yep. What was your biggest fear before you started uni? Not being good at what I wanted to do. Yeah, and I think also like not making friends. Probably just that whole aspect of, you know, becoming an adult. That I was probably gonna fail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and now I'm nearly at the end of my degree and I'm just, yeah, I'm so thankful that I pursued science. Just being scared that I'm not good enough for uni. I'm gonna have to drop out after one year or so, or I'll lose my motivation. Uh, but we're doing good so far. What piece of advice would you go back and give your year 12 self? Knowing how easy it is now to transfer once you're in uni, I wouldn't stress about my ATAR so much. It would be that it's not as bad and scary as I think it's going to be and that it's okay to not be 100% certain on my like first day at uni in that first lecture exactly what I want to do and exactly where I want to be in three years and exactly what degree I want to do like it's okay to change my mind. You can do whatever you want to do in year 12 mm -hmm. there's always a pathway to do whatever else yep. you want to do down the track. <laughs> yep. Best tip for a new science student attending their first practical? Oh. Bring your lab coat. Right <laughs> yep. Bring um, your lab coat, wear clothes shoes. Yes! Or the demonstrator will make you wear gum boots and they're the most unfashionable things ever. We've all made that mistake where we haven't prepared and it never ends well. Have a little bit of a read ahead of time of what the practice is going to be and get yourself semi-familiarised with it. But I think the main thing would just be just get in there and try it. Biggest misconception about studying science. It's not all lab coats, I think. Like at such a young age, when you think about science, you think about like flasks and mixing chemicals and stuff. Um, and there's so many other types of science that you can go into. Once you go into uni, you see there's so many different majors and so many different courses. I think for me, um, the biggest misconception studying science is that you actually have to be smart. I've run into a lot of students who may not have the same academic levels as, as some other students that I've run into, but that doesn't mean that they can't do science. I was just so wrong about how social science is. I thought it was a lot more introverted when it's it's not. Like it's it's so, so, yeah. so super social, which I love. And I think, yeah, that's a pretty big misconception. Most surprising thing about your degree? Oh, how many really interesting people are in it? There's a lot of people I wouldn't necessarily expect to be in a science degree. Meeting like-minded people. Science is a very flexible course. Your biggest science fail. <laughs> We were doing this synthetic prac and it was sitting right next to the sink. I accidentally, you know, waved my arm, did something wrong and spilt pretty much the entire product. That's the main thing about any massive fails is that you, you, um, you pick yourself up and keep moving. We were doing some microscope analysis. These are like $2,000 yeah. microscopes. I somehow managed to drop one. Oh. No. It did not break, <sighs> but I was so scared. I was just like, "What? how did that even happen? The peers in the lab are what keep you going. Oh, they're amazing. I guess because yeah. like, you need someone to rant to about yeah. your success or failure, and then someone's there yep. to celebrate with you. Or someone to just be like, yeah, I stuffed up in that same way, in the exact like, same place, yep. in that exact protocol. Exactly. You're like, oh, it's not just me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You, you, you feel more sane. Yeah. I think the biggest thing you learn working in, especially in real life labs, is out of all the research you do, 99% of the stuff you do actually doesn't work, but you do it to get that 1%. And I guess that's just, I think that's part of studying science.